It's Umsum time. Why do some people huh? develop celiac disease? Cause they don't go on vacations. No. <laughs> Celiac disease is a disorder which adversely affects the villi present in our small intestine. Villi are small finger-like projections which help in efficient absorption of nutrients. Now, according to experts, the main culprits behind celiac disease are our genes. If a person has HLADQ2 gene or HLADQ8 gene, then his immune system oh. is genetically susceptible to a protein called gluten usually found in wheat, barley, etc. Hmm. Now, if he <laughs> eats gluten, his susceptible immune system starts attacking his own villi, thus causing him to develop celiac disease. This leads to inflammation, abdominal pain, etc. Hmm. Also, if that person still doesn't stop consuming gluten, then due to the attacks of the immune system, his villi will eventually shorten or flatten, thus causing malabsorption of nutrients through the villi into the blood. This can lead to oh. iron deficiency, weight loss, short stature, etc. Hmm. How do we get Lyme disease? Huh? By drinking 59.264731 liters of lime juice. No. Lyme disease is caused by a bacterium called Borrelia burgdorferi, which ticks carry in their gut. But how does this bacterium enter our body? Hmm. When a tick bites us, it first injects its saliva. This saliva prevents blood clotting and even suppresses pain, thus keeping us unaware of the intrusion. Hmm. Now, once the saliva is injected, the tick begins to suck our blood. When our blood enters the tick's gut, it makes the bacterium <laughs> active. Once active, the bacterium travels from the tick's gut to its salivary glands, and then it enters into our body, where it slowly begins to multiply, Ooh. thus causing Lyme disease. Ah. Now, it is important to note that it takes at least 24 hours for the bacterium to travel from the tick's gut into our body. Hence, the longer the tick is attached, the more you are at risk. Hmm. Why is it hard to cure Alzheimer's disease? Mm -hmm. Alzheimer's disease is an irreversible progressive brain disorder. It basically occurs when proteins in the brain malfunction and clump together forming plaques and tangles. These plaques and tangles block communication in between brain cells and even cause cell death, thus leading to memory loss, mood changes, hallucinations, etc. Now, it is hard to cure Alzheimer's because symptoms of the disease begin to show when it has almost irreversibly damaged the brain. Also, finding candidates for effective clinical trials is mm -hmm. difficult because there is no method to identify people with the disease at initial mm -hmm. stages. Thus, it is hard to test the medications and check whether they work or not. Hmm. In addition to this, Alzheimer's affects different people in different ways. Hence, a drug which is somewhat effective on a patient suffering from Alzheimer's might not work on another patient. In short, due to a lack of fundamental understanding of the disease, we are unable to cure Alzheimer's. Why is it hard to cure HIV, AIDS? HIV or human immunodeficiency virus infects the cells of immune system, causing them to produce more copies of the virus and then eventually die. When too many immune cells of your body die and our immune system is unable to fight off diseases, then we are said to have AIDS or acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Now, coming back to the question. It is hard to cure HIV or AIDS because mm. HIV has the ability to mutate extremely quickly. Hence, a drug which is somewhat effective on a patient suffering from HIV or AIDS ah. might not work on another patient because of the mutated HIV. Now, there are certain antiretroviral drugs that prevent the cells from producing new copies of HIV thus controlling the HIV levels in our body. But it is hard to completely eradicate HIV because the virus integrates its DNA into our cell's DNA. 
Hence, if we stop taking the drugs, the DNA of the virus can again cause the cell to produce copies of the virus and thus, we are unable to control the level of HIV-infected cells in our body. Why is it hard to cure cancer? Hmm? Cancer is not a single disease. It is a name given to a collection of diseases that have some common characteristics. Cancer usually begins when there is a sudden change or mutation in the genes present in our cells. This leads to uncontrolled cell division. Now, it is hard to cure cancer because every cancer is caused by a different set of genetic mutations in different types of cells. Hence, it is a different disease each time due to which a treatment which works for an individual doesn't necessarily work for the other. Now, cancer cells can be killed with treatments like chemotherapy or radiation. However, sometimes these treatments may not kill all the cancer cells, risking a cancer relapse. Moreover, such treatments even harm healthy cells of our body. Cancer cells can even metastasize. That is, they can spread to different body parts and start growing there, thus making it difficult to eradicate cancer completely. In addition to this, many cancers are diagnosed at very late oh. stages, which makes treatment less likely to succeed, thus reducing the chances of survival. 